I love it. I couldn't resist. I caved in. I've been looking at it and now I have it and I'm happy. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Today, I have kind of a weird video. Not really content on my channel, but I bought a wig. Now, I have been keeping my eyes on this wig since like Halloween time. This wig is from insert name here. And it was like $100 and it's on sale right now for like 60 something dollars. And I just, could not resist. I actually got it in the mail yesterday, but I wanted to open it on camera with you guys because <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to wear this in person or what. I've never owned a wig before. This is my first time putting a wig on and I don't know. I'm just so interested in it. I got the, what is her name? Merida from Brave. I just could not, I could not resist this freaking wig. I don't know what the heck came over me, but like, I love red hair. Okay, I don't know why, but I think the color of like red hair is like so freaking pretty. It could be my Scottish and Irish heritage, but <laughs> I don't know what the heck it is, but I think redheads are just like, the most prettiest like colors of hair. I don't I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> and so yeah, I dove in and I got it. But yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do like a little chit chatty try on this wig for I don't know what reason. <laughs> but this is supposed to be a 19 inch wig. And I've never worn a wig before. It's kind of scary. So apparently it comes with to wig cap. I'm trying to be really gentle. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at this. I love the curls. Like all the mixture of like different textures of the curls. Oh my God. I can't deal with my thing. <laughs> oh my God. It's so pretty. Can you even like see this? Like this is so freaking pretty pretty oh my god mm. i'm so excited i need, i like can't even okay so it looks like it has i'm gonna flip this inside out so it has three clips one two three well not really clips but like you know the things and then the little where, where you can make it a little tighter it's like a little velcro strip Okay, okay. I don't think I'm gonna ever like really style this or anything. I really like just how it is. Oh my gosh, but I don't know. Is this 19 inches? That's kind of crazy. My hair grew like crazy once I stopped bleaching it and I've been growing out my natural hair color. I'll show you guys. <laughs> I was actually born with red hair and then over time I've just become a dirty blonde and I was actually born with blue eyes and I had blue eyes until I was about four and then they turned green. But if you guys can't tell, right about here is where the hair color starts and all of this is my natural hair color. And my hair has been growing like crazy. Like I can't even believe how long my hair is right now, but I'm really excited to get this freaking wig on so i'm gonna put my hair in some pigtail braids really sloppily real fast i think i'm gonna do a part i don't really know another thing is i wanted to film like a little chit chatty video so today i decided to wear the fenty tinted moisturizer again and i feel like i'm liking it more and more the more i try it out the things I found with it is that I really need to wear, or not wear, I really need to put on like really hydrating moisturizer underneath the foundation because my skin is just a little bit more on the drier side for the product, I think. So I've been putting like oil and moisturizer on underneath and it's been wearing a lot better and I feel like it's easier to get 
more of the sheer coverage. I feel like every time I do a braid, I always do a French braid, but I have people that I know that naturally do a Dutch braid first, which is like, you know, the braid kind of like sits on top versus like, instead of going like in with the hair, you're going out with the hair. Let me know, what kind of braid do you guys do naturally, like first? <laughs> like your first like instinct. All right, braids are done. So now I think I'm just gonna like wrap my braid like around my head. <laughs> and of course I have no freaking clue where any of my bobby pins are. They always just wanna disappear off the face of the planet. So I have no clue where any of my bobby pins are. I've bought I, I'm sure everyone has this problem, but like I, I have no idea what happens to freaking bobby pins. Like you buy a whole pack of like 50 of them and then they just go missing off the face of the planet. <laughs> Hair ties out. <laughs> the one good thing about having braces was <laughs> I always had an influx of like tiny little hair ties and like now I have no tiny hair ties. And I think I'm gonna do some extra clipsies in the back. I feel like I look like a little bit of a crazy person. Oh, I thought they only gave me one, but they put one on top of the other one. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Am I gonna look like a weirdo? I don't know. Let's see. And if I'm doing anything wrong, please let me know in the comments. This is tight. Am I gonna be able to put my head over this? What? <laughs> Some people have some tiny heads. Oh my gosh. I don't think I can fit my head in here. <laughs> All right, let's just, oh man, this is tight. I wasn't really expecting this to be that tight. I have like no memory of how to do like wigs or anything from cosmetology school. The only thing I really remember is like washing them. Little baby hairs are really hard to deal with, but we're just doing this for fun, so. Okay, I think, I think that's good enough. I think, I have no clue. I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. What would be the easiest thing to do first? Should I just like stick it on? Oh my goodness gracious, this is so curly. Um, this feels so strange. Oh, these people have such tiny heads. I thought I had a tiny head. <laughs> I look so funny right now. Um, dang, this is so tight. What in the heck? Ugh. Now I feel claustrophobic with all this hair on my face. <laughs> I can't even get the bottom clip to my head. All right. Maybe it would be better to do the back first. All right, I'm gonna undo these little stretchy things because my head is so much bigger <laughs> than everything else. All right, let's see. Oh my God. Do the back. All right. All right, I clipped on the back. So now you guys can probably see like, oh, well then now I feel like it's gonna pull the cap off. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, this is so much more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Whoa, back came undone. Oh Lord, what is going on here? So I hope you guys can see, but like the cap is so much smaller in my head that like this this part I feel like it's supposed to be by my ear but like I have such I guess I have a big head I don't really understand <laughs> and the back keeps coming undone glad I didn't pay a hundred dollars feel like it's very noticeably a wig but I freaking love the curls I don't know how I feel about like the part situation because I'm not really used to having so much hair in my face but 
I freaking love red hair so much. <laughs> I love it. Look at all these different curls. They're so pretty. Like some are just like super, super tight. And then other ones are like more of these like bigger curls. And we have some like in between. Oh, it's so pretty. I honestly would probably wear a hat over this. I don't really know. Let me know what you guys think of how I should like style this. I don't really know. I thought about pinning it, but I don't know if that would work. Cause it's kind of like, I don't know. Do I need a bigger forehead? <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. I mean, it's supposed to be like kind of messy and like just curly. But now that I have it on my head, this feels like on there. Like, I feel like I could really like just shake my head and this is not going to be going anywhere. Now I have hair all in my face. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I feel like a lion. This is crazy. What do you guys think? Does it look ridiculous? Is it cute? Let me know. I love the layers. I love the curls. I don't really know how to deal with like this part. And like, I don't know, should I do it maybe a little bit more in the center? Okay, that looks, I don't know. Okay, I kind of like it a little bit more in the center. Oh my gosh, look at this hair. Oh my, you know how long it would take me to curl my hair like this? Centuries, it would take me centuries to curl my hair to look like this. Well, I could definitely wear this for like Halloween, but I feel like this is very obviously a wig, unless you probably put like a beanie on, but like, I don't know, it's such big hair that I feel like <laughs> it would look kind of weird with a beanie on, but all right. let me turn around and show you guys what the back looks like. This is what the, the back looks like. Oh my god, I love the color of this so much. So much. I wish I naturally had red hair, but you know what they say. You always want what you don't have. And I don't know about curly hair, because I have curly, frizzy hair. But red hair is definitely something that I feel like I just long for, you know what? This curl going underneath here like this. Okay. Mm. Mm. I love this. This is so flirty and cute. I wish you guys could just like touch this because the feeling of like all these different textures of curls. Oh, it's so nice. But yeah, so this is synthetic. This is not real human hair. This is just vegan synthetic fiber and it is heat resistant, though they don't suggest using heat on it. But yeah, I kind of wish it didn't really have bangs. Like tucking these like bang parts back, I really like how this looks. I have the hair out of my face. Oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. It was a struggle bus to get this on my head. I might just have to do a tighter French braid and really make my hair super flat because as I showed you guys, the actual wig, I feel like it's just not, like I can feel where it kind of like loops. I wonder if I can show you, but like where it like loops right here to fit on like the ear part is just not really there. So. I don't know if just my hair is just a bit, ooh, a bit too, ooh, I kind of like that. I don't know, I'm just gonna have a bunch of fun with this. This is just me playing with fake hair. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys were like looking at this for like the longest time, like I was, get it. It's worth it to play with it. I love it. It's so much fun. Although I don't really like the bang part of it. I wish the bangs had a couple more like spiral 
kind of curls than just like the big curls. But other than that, like this is so fun, so 80s, so big and voluminous. And I know her real hair, like in the movie Brave, her hair is like super long, but uh, this just is like, I don't know. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> I'm just being a loon of playing with a wig. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any tips and tricks with your wigs, cause I have no memory of wigs of how to do it. Um, I'll probably try another time to like try and get my hair like super tight, maybe more than two braids um to pin it back to make it more secure but i mean like this is secure like i can just literally go like this and it it is like on there <laughs> it ain't going nowhere i would probably never wear this out in person <laughs> i feel like it's a little too obvious that it's a wig but i mean hey <laughs> i love it i couldn't resist i caved in I've been looking at it and now I have it and I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear this for the rest of the day. Probably not the rest of the day cause this is like hella tight on my head, but you know, I'm gonna wear this for a good while and just, you know, dance around the house with it. <laughs> that is it for this little video of trying on a random wig that I bought, but if you guys want to watch my Fenty Tinted Moisturizer video, that video will be right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here where you click on it and subscribe to my channel.